Botrix just came out with a new activity feed to see your kick events or even multi-stream events for Twitch and YouTube and more. So let me show you how to set it up. We'll be using a tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Once we're on this page, we're gonna log in with one of these four options. It'll bring you to the profile tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see sign in with kick. So we're gonna click sign in with kick. We're gonna put in our kick username. In this instance, I'm using a burner account. Then I'm gonna click accept. Now we're gonna have to mod Botrix. So we're going to click on the continue continue button. It'll bring us to our moderators page on our creator dashboard. So if you don't know how to get here, just go to your kick page, go to the top right, go to creator dashboard, and then we go to community and then moderators. Then we can click add new and we can type in Botrix and then you're going to see it with a little green check mark. So click on that and then we're going to click add. Now we can go back to Botrix. It'll bring up this little box here and we're just going to copy this and we're going to right click and copy and we're going to go to this link right here. So we're going to click this link and not the finished button it's going to bring us to the botrix chat room and if you don't see this botrix chat room then just go to this url right here and just type that in your browser and once you're in botrix's chat room we're just going to paste in this link message that we copied we're going to send it by clicking chat or hitting enter give it a couple seconds now it says that your account has been successfully linked so let's go back to botrix and now we can click finished but real quick let me show you some pretty pictures from today's sponsor i'll leave a link in the description down below where you can follow along at home but own.tv is my favorite place to get everything related for my stream design. If you actually go to the top, you can go to stream overlay packages. They got it for Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. I'm going to click Kick. You can scroll down and see all these different packages, like the Enchanted series. And then you can preview everything that comes in this package. They got webcam overlays, just chatting scene, gameplay scene, starting soon screen, ending screen, and pretty much everything you're going to need for your stream design. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to make your stream look way more professional with zero effort. Now that we've We've got all of that out of the way we're just going to make sure we have all of the connected accounts that we'd like to see the recent events for under our profile tab here then we're going to move over to the widgets tab we're going to scroll down to where it says activity feed we're going to click on that you're going to see a preview here but it is very confusing for first time users so let me explain so in order to have this work we need to have the alerts widget already set up so if you haven't set up alerts you'll go to the alerts tab then you're going to go and customize your alerts how you would like and if you need a more in-depth video on that I'll link it in the top right corner but once you've customized your alerts to how you like it or left it on the defaults that's totally fine we're just gonna copy this little widget URL then we're gonna go into our streaming software in this case I'm using OBS so I'm just gonna open a new source a new browser source we'll call this one kick alerts with a Z because we're cool we're gonna click OK then we're gonna paste in that URL we just got hit OK again and now we have our alert box right here which is fine that's where our alerts are gonna be so now we can go back to Botrix we'll go back to the widget We'll go scroll down until we see activity feed. Now that we have the widgets alert set up in our streaming software, we can move on to the next step. Right now, you can only use it as a doc, but they're making it available as a widget later. So keep an eye on the pinned comment down below in case there's any updates. But once we have doc selected, we're going to copy this widget URL down here. Now we're going to go to the top of OBS and click on docs and then custom browser docs. I'm going to call this activity feed. Oh my God, I can't spell. I'm going to call this activity feed. I'm going to paste in the URL we just got. It's just bought. Rick's live widgets activity feed nothing fancy we're gonna click apply it's gonna bring up an activity feed right here yours will likely be blank and that's okay I'm gonna close this other one and then I'm going to go and drag it over to the side or wherever you want it to be and if you're having trouble dragging it in you can just double click the top and it'll pop it in somewhere but you can go and drag it to where you like so this will be blank for you when you first start out but in order to have little test events like this we can open up Botrix once you're on Botrix you can go to the alerts tab and we're just gonna do some testing of the alerts so right now I'll just test a sub so I'll click on test sub if for whatever reason your alerts are not working just close out of OBS or whatever streaming software you're using delete the browser source and then re-add it and that fixed it for me I don't know why the heck that happened but that's what worked but now if we test a subscription or any of the other ones I'll click test subscription it'll trigger the alert up here and you can see that we have the activity feed in the top left now populating you can also test a follower so I'll click followers give it a sec it has a test follower up there you can also change a couple other things too like you can have it replay so if you click replay right there, it'll automatically replay it. You can also change the filters of what you're going to be able to see. So if you want, you know, your Twitch or YouTube events to pop up here, you can do that. If you're multi-streaming, you can add or remove certain events by using these little check boxes. And then with the little gear icon next to that, you can change the color. You can make it to the right. You can do none, left. You basically change how you want it to look right there as well. If you want to set it up for Streamlabs, all you have to do is make sure you have your kick alerts already set up on your scene. Then you're going to go to the layout editor in the top 
left, choose one of the layouts, but make sure to add the website option here. So you can just click and drag in website. We're gonna put in that Botrix activity feed, click save changes. Then you can see we have our alert feed right here, but just make sure that you have your kick alerts also in there as well, because that's how it tracks all of this. So watch this playlist to the side of me to take your stream to the next level. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.